UFC Unlimited Fight Channel. Coming up next, a UFC welterweight division matchup. excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here. Tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kick. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arm with high kick after high kick after high kick. And as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Two years apart, these two fighters, with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! I round in the UFC Welterweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 163 pounds. Fighting out of St. Louis, Missouri, USA, Goliath. And now for the his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. gets underway and you can't to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Lee. I mean, can you imagine having a reach advantage like this? What a luxury. It's a luxury. I've never had one over the course of my entire career. But fighting guys that are taller, you struggle whenever they are very aware of such a massive advantage. This guy is going to try and use this tonight. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, 
just misses with the kick. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Big call for punch land. Now he gets back to range. All right, so the taller fighter lands a knee, and Daniel Cormier to my right, I can hear him saying, I wish I was a little bit taller. Single collar tie out. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the tie quick. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He is a great Muay Thai fighter. Look for him to go knee-knee and then try to land a big one to the head. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Oh, collar tie. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch to the clinch. Dig and kick. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact... Oh! Oh, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold. It's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to hold him. Yep, absolutely. Go. Ooh, head kick lands is hurt. And they separate. Lee's attempt there is blocked by the opponent. What a body kick. Right hand upstairs. Slips the shot. Big kick lands. Takedown defense holds up. And they separate. That was light defense, that right hand. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, beautiful execution with the knee strike there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up a beautiful strike like that knee with? We'll see very shortly. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Oh, eats a knee. Left hand punch from the clinch. every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Keep your hands up. Use your now. 30 seconds to go in this one. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. 20 seconds left. Oh, now he's got the tie plump, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You gotta start digging your shoulder to a side and try to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai plunge. Round two straight ahead. Stop, stop, stop. All right, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that. But when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. Significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Leg kick. So the strike attempt there is blocked. Nice sneaky head kick. Back to the jab now, no good. 
can't take many of those. Better check. Hard shots landing on both sides here. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. And they separate. Good work getting in the way of that knee. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. It looks like it did stun him a little bit. He's in trouble. Oh, he's hurt bad. Offensive fighters can start to get frustrated here. Most stiffed on all these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may float a right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into the strike. Try to establish that jab. Oh, single collar tie here. And now he engages in a Muay Thai flinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into positions where he can get off the strike. All right, single collar tie now. Cable injured right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Well, his corner was pretty Another and potentially a critical down. takedown here. Back to the feet now. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. Oh, these are some impactful knees he is throwing, and I guess until his opponent adjusts, might as well keep throwing them. He's gonna keep going to the well. Why would he change it? His opponent has not been able to figure out these knees. Both fighters here continuing. Nice entry into the finish, the record. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, working inside the closed guard now. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. You gotta be careful. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, he's back up again. You gotta like that. Visibly limping here. Watch the strike. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. And he landed the right hand there. All right, lands a kick there, pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with his leg. The takedown is not there. with that punch, he'd be wise to get those hands up. Nice head kick. 10 minutes in the books. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. 
but he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Slips the left hand. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. He's got to go chase that finish down now. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Lands with the right hand. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, that straight punch was useful, champ. Multiple times he's used this punch to get to the target. Oh, a single collar tie there. Nice punch by Lee. Got the single collar tie. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Body. And they separate. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And both fighters exchange elbows, and they're enjoying it. Head kick, that's a miss. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Gets in the clinch. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range though with it. Right hand upstairs. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Beautiful punch. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the ball there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there. Whoa! Fighter's pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Top pressure being applied here. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Throws the right hand there. Lee's got the tie clinch now. Oh, beautiful knee to the body by him there. Again, we talked off the top about his size advantage, and he couldn't take it loose there. Oh! What a fantastic strike. Oh! Back to the feet. Oh, he might be out. Seconds. Oh, 
Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, oh, so good, though. Oh, oh, five five those five minutes. minutes. All right, so the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheek sustained in that round, but better to be below the eye than above it. The cut man is in there trying to close it up. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now, his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Well, not only... Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Wow! Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. He's got to go take that finish down now. Gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. And there he is, all smiles. What a huge knockout he turned in here tonight. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going south in this contest at 53 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and Candidly knocking another man out cold. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for...